Nope, 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 no. I shall not give up hope on our Lord and Savior Ray. I shall not give up hope. Though it does seem like he sacrificed himself for us still. I believe in our Lord and Savior Ray. He is still alive. Oh my gosh, I can't. I can't. He's probably burnt. He's probably burnt the fuck up. But no, 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 no. No. I, I doubted him once. That was last week, man. I doubted him. I said, no. No, Ray. Why are you gotta give up, man? Even Ray's tired. Our God has given up. But he did it. Nope, he just picked up the pieces that Emma was also starting to, to pick up as well. Because not only did Emma not give up, but so did Ray. They both acted like they gave up because they knew mama would be watching them and she was but you know who she wasn't watching the others Dawn and Gilda were able to gather supplies and food and you know probably blankets and stuff to warm themselves up they were able to gather all that pack them up I guess they're already in like little bags and stuff so they can carry it and everything so Emma's plan was to leave in the afternoon, but then Ray stopped to right there. He's like, no, 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 I'm gonna stop you right there. Here's what we're gonna do. We gotta leave at night. And I prepared a couple of extra things. Ray made grenades. The boy made six grenades. Not only that, but he was also able to gather a bunch of oil so that he can set to the Gracefield house ablaze. Since there's only one bridge and that bridge connects headquarters to the other side, to like the outside world, how are they going to make it look like they're not running away? How are they going to not get caught? So here's the plan. Set Gracefield house ablaze. Then make a run for it, you know, gather everybody and, you know, they're, they're on the, the wall and stuff and they're running over to the bridge. As they're running to the bridge, they get the grenades and throw them in the forests of the other uh, plantations or the orphanages, whatever you want to call them. They're going to throw over there so that the HQ could be even more distracted. And Mama won't follow them because they'll lock her up. But say she's able to break free, which she most likely will, this is where things get kind of because Ray decides to pour oil on himself and at the end, you know, there was a big fire and everything and, um, you know, it makes it look like he's dead. Really, it really does. But you know what? As long as he stops, drops, and rolls, he'll be fine. But like I said, so they're running, right? And they run over to HQ because to them, to the people working over at HQ, it'll look like that they're just running because it's a fire, that they're seeking shelter, they're seeking help, not that they're running away. So that's pretty good. The only thing though is um, the bags. Yeah, they still have the bags on them, so they're just gonna be like, uh, how'd you gather all the supplies in that short amount of time when a sudden fire suddenly appeared? So uh, I don't know, maybe they're not exactly running to to HQ and you know end up plop right themselves over where the demons are instead they're probably just you know obviously they have to run in the direction of HQ so when HQ sees them running to them they probably won't pay too much attention because they're still you know running over to the other plantations as well that are also set on fire and therefore the kids can make their way across the bridge that's most likely how it's going to turn out you know if all is good so Isabella will most likely stay behind if she finds out that Ray is still in the house because what if she just abandoned the house? She's just like, oh no, fuck this house. I gotta get me my goods. So then she'd be you know, chasing after them. Well, Ray decided to sacrifice himself so that uh, Isabella could, you know, at least still have something to present to the demons, like some sort of, you know, like high quality brain and stuff like that. So that's another thing. Isabella probably saves Ray. Like, no, I, I'm not gonna believe that he's dead. Ain't no way, no how. Either stop, drop, and roll, or get saved by Isabella. One of them too. But now it's all up to Emma. The time is now to gather everyone and make their way out. Will they be successful? Possibly. Is everyone going to survive? Oh, fuck no. 
<laughs> all the babies, you're gonna have to toss them. Okay, oh sorry, that got, got a little dark there, but but no, for real though, the babies, they're dead, okay? Toddlers, they're dead, except for Phil. Mm, no, Phil, Phil's gonna be alive. Mm, no, he's gonna have the last laugh. He's gonna be there at the end of the bridge, and he's just gonna be like, hey, what took you guys so long? I've been waiting for you. Like, <laughs> that's how amazing Phil is. But you know what? Donna and Gilda have been continuing on with the training, so maybe they won't lose too many of the kids. But still, there ain't no way in hell all of them are gonna make it. No, that, there's, there's no way. But Ray certainly does make it. Oh yes, he does. Let me know your thoughts and theories on this chapter and the upcoming chapter of The Promised Neverland. The time is now the moment we have all been waiting for. We didn't have to wait too long. It's not like we had to wait two years for this escape to finally happen. Things are moving on uh, along at a decent pace, so now we're probably going to spend uh, quite a bit of chapters on this escape plan. Catch them later as I review Little Witch Academia. I'm your female Taku. Sayonara.